right now we're going to a pumpkin patch. Um, I'm with my older sister. She's driving, obviously, because I'm still learning how to drive. Anyways, we're going to go to a pumpkin patch and take some pictures. And I'm going to show you guys how I take pictures for Instagram, you know? Also, I have no idea when this is going to go up. I just decided to vlog. Hopefully, this even go up. So, we're at this pumpkin patch and there's literally no one here. I'm so awkward, but it's good. We're gonna get our photos done. Right. Oh. Kelly, take a picture first. Okay, here we walk. We just left the pumpkin patch. I don't know if I have any footage. Honestly, it was so awkward. There was no one there and I felt so bad because I didn't buy a pumpkin. Um. <laughs> I, I just don't find any use. I'm just gonna like buy and not even like touch at all. And it's just gonna be a waste of money. I hope I have some footage. I hope I got some good pictures. Now I am changing to my second outfit and hopefully I can take some good picture. I have no idea how the pumpkin pictures turn out, um, but I'll see when I edit them. So yeah, this is usually my day. Um, I just go out and take pictures, at least two, and then I just go right back home. It's okay, you look okay. I can probably look at me. Okay, good. There you go. I found the angle. Good. Do another triangle with your hand. Good. Two, three. Good. Good. Can you look? Usually when I go out, I usually bring two outfits to take pictures because I don't really go out. I just literally stay home and like do homework and other stuff. Like, but when I do, um, yeah, it's usually for like pictures, and I'll, I'll like prepare two outfits for pictures. So right now I am at Bento. Um, I'm meeting up with some of my high school friends. We're gonna go out and eat and basically catch up. And right now I'm here with one of my friends, Bree. Oh, didn't see you there. Hey guys. <laughs> yeah, you guys probably see her in my vlogs already, but we're here first and we're just waiting for a couple more to come. With all my high school friends. These are the people I went to high school with. You guys already saw Bree. But we're gonna eat here and basically catch up with our life. Um, our food haven't come yet or some of our food in here, but I'll show you guys what I got later. So. So I just got done eating with some of my friends from high school. Um, we we're just catching up with each other and see where we are in life. And 
basically how college is treating us, you know, just a little, little catch up. I haven't seen him since graduation. Anyways, I'm with my older sister. You guys probably see her, AKA my manager, videographer, photographer, Uber driver, your bank. <laughs> so I was editing my vlog and I was telling myself, you know, I should give you guys like a little life update what is going on in my life because I literally just disappear from YouTube, disappear sometime from Instagram and just <laughs> just hide myself in my room. If you guys don't know, I have a love and hate relationship with social media. There's time where I want to be online. There's time where I just want to disappear. I don't want to do this anymore. I just want to deactivate all my account and disappear towards like the end of 2018 2019 i just take break from time to time just to recheck where i am spiritually that is what is very important to me is to disconnect from the world and see where i am spiritually see where i am if i didn't have what i have right now like i know eventually pop culture is gonna fade or the generation i'm in whatever social media is gonna fall off the platform one day one day no one's gonna care about social media and what am i doing then you know i gotta i gotta know who is like on the top of my um my heart and it's my relationship with god i when i dis when i disconnect from social media and everything is when i um uh, basically recheck where i am with god and see what is it that he had to, um tell me i don't even know what i'm saying anymore at this point i'm just like rambling i'm just going off right from my head if you guys don't have a relationship with god i think you should or you should try it like start off with praying pray about whatever you want like he will answer you i pray for this i pray for youtube i pray for the people i love i pray for everything and that's why i am where i am because i pray for it <laughs> if you guys been on youtube for a while you guys know youtube is not the same like how it used to be I just feel like everything now is just like for clickbait, drama. It's not genuine. Like I just feel like <sighs> back and now I'm just making myself sound so old. But when I used to post video, it's just like everyone was just posting video, like doing their thing. It was so friendly. And now it's just like you gotta make your life very interesting, like you know, or like something has to happen in your life. But I love YouTube. I still remember why I started because I love filming and editing and I love posting videos. That's pretty much what has been going on my head. I hope to bring out more content about my faith because it, it actually like changed my whole perspective like on life. Like from going to care, oh, what should I post on Instagram? Oh my goodness, I haven't posted in two weeks, three months. To, okay, I'm not going to care anymore. I'm just going to post whenever I feel like it. So, yeah.